What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Prince Press with SoundCloud, SoundClick. Uh, I'm not going to play this video. I'm just not. Why? Because I don't want to. But I'm going to talk about it. Tesla, Elon Musk, the man, trying to go into space, build some trucks uh, that can go way faster than a diesel, fully loaded at 80,000 80, pounds or whatever, uh, has a engine on each wheel, the brakes uh, will never wear out because the the braking energy goes right back into the motor. Uh, you can charge it pretty much anywhere. It takes 15 minutes to charge a truck. I don't know how long it takes to charge one of these. That's a diesel truck. I don't know how long it takes one of these. It's the fastest truck on the road. It uh, pretty much has a... Uh, so here's an example. Turn it down here. Yeah. 60 miles an hour. So yeah, he's saying he's way faster than a diesel truck and uh, just a lot of other things. You guys can watch this on World Star. He's saying it can go, uh, I don't know, it can travel so many miles, you know, at highway speeds. And so it goes like 500 miles, I don't know, something like that. Here's my point. Here's my point. Enhanced autopilot and all this. Here's here's my point. Didn't some guy just die? He was, well, the Tesla was driving him. Doesn't that just sound weird? And pretty much drove him into the back of a truck and decapitated him. He was in the car. And the dog, dog one thing just kept on going, cut his head off. Also, this truck has nuclear, uh, like, the glass can survive a nuclear blast. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Why you have nuclear glass on a, on a dog on a truck? Because, I don't know, they're saying if a truck's windshield or glass breaks on it, the truck has to be repaired or it can't travel on the highway, which is true. Then it takes a long time, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere, to replace the glass. You lose a lot of revenue. This is very true. You know, so he's like, this glass won't break. It can survive a nuclear attack. Yeah, but nothing else can survive a nuclear attack. But that one, the glass. Yeah, the glass can. <laughs> okay, here's my point to all this in this video. You guys can watch it. You guys can geek out on it all you want. But all I saw here was the use of more power. And when I say that, I mean, okay, so we have these huge, you know, power plants that, you know, give us all this electricity and stuff like that. And, you know, we're using it up in, I don't know, what is it, uranium? I don't know, what is it? You guys, scientific guys out there. But there's a problem with this. There's a problem. The more power we use, the more problems that we're having. And we just keep using it up more and more every second because we're growing every second. And now you have this. Now, in my eyes, this dude is a genius, the obvious, and very innovative. But in my eyes, I think we're going the wrong way. I've said this before. I don't think that we should be making stuff that uses more electricity. I don't, not unless you're actually doing what the name Tesla actually suggests. You named your car Tesla after Nikolai Tesla. But you're not doing what Nikolai Tesla did. Nikolai Tesla found a way to use a different current of energy that was free. Now, if that's what he was doing, if that's what Elon Musk was doing, I would be all on board with that. That's not what he's doing. He's using the same JD power. He's using the same 
you know, it, it wasn't J.E. Power, it was uh, J.P. Morgan, who, who did not want to back Nikolai Tesla because he was like, energy is free. And then he went and had, you know, back the other guy, the other electric uh, giant. Forgot what his name was. But the point is, Tesla, you're not doing what your name suggests. We're just using more power. And I think it's going to be another Chernobyl. I just do. Nuclear power plants go down, and it's, they just, the thing about nuclear power plants is when they destroy an area, that area stays destroyed for like 20 lifetimes. Like, you can't go and live in Chernobyl. Nothing can grow there. It's not going to happen. Nothing can survive there. You stay there long enough, you're going to come out with radio dam radiation damage. You go there, you're going to come out with radiation damage. And those are just the facts. China just had a nuclear power uh, bad experience, breakdown, meltdown, whatever it does. I'm just saying, Elon, you're going the wrong way. If I can talk to Elon Musk, I would tell Elon Musk, consider the lilies. They don't toil or spin. But yet, King Solomon in all of his glory didn't have as much splendor as them. And I know I just rhymed, but it wasn't on purpose. But this is in the Bible. Now what that's saying is that the earth has everything we need to do everything we want to do in it. It's also, the Bible also says that there's nothing new under the sun. You know, this is a great invention in our time, but it's a good chance that it already was. I think we're going the wrong way. I think we're destroying ourselves. I think the more power that we use the, uh, in the way that we're using it, I think it goes against nature. And this is why wherever humans land, we suck up all the resources in that territory and then we move on to another territory like a virus and we destroy that too and we don't give back to it we cut down all the trees we kill all the animals you know we uh destroy the the, the air itself with pollution we destroy the ozone layer with all kind of stuff. And this is probably one of his things. Hey, the ozone layer is not being destroyed. Well, you have to have a nuclear power plant to make power, to power your trucks, Elon. Okay, you do. That you have to have. You have to have that. All right? Not unless you're going to use the power from salt water and watermelons and then plug your, <laughs> which you can actually use the power from that. A watermelon creates power. So here's a glass that doesn't break. But I can care less. Excuse me, how to blow my nose. All I'm saying, people, is we're going the wrong way. Whatever you need, God has already put it on the earth. To do what we need to do. Now, I have a suggestion that only five of you are going to listen to. <sighs> Tornadoes. Tornadoes come and they go and they go and they come. And I'm not, I'm not no scientist when it comes to tornado. But I'm always, always fascinated by the tornado. Go from F1 to a F5. F5 spans mile long. Winds blowing up to 300 plus mile an hour all within a circle. Just staying within that circumference. 
because one cloud got cooled too fast, another cloud heated up too fast, whatever. However it goes, what I'm curious to is why we have never captured and harnessed not the tornado itself, but what the tornado is doing. Some people will say, well, we did in the battery. No, that's electronic. That's positive and negative energy. It's different. Why we don't have an engine that can uh, turn on its own, the turbines can turn on their own and create their own power without something starting it. Now, some of you are going, well, we got turbines that turn. Yes, we do. We have huge turbines that turn, but they use a the power of electricity. I'm not talking about that. There is no power of electricity in a tornado, but yet it can come down and destroy on a maximum level because it's so powerful. And it can go away. I'm saying that there's something there. And I'm not a scientist, so I'll never figure it out. But I bet if we had the ability to do what that tornado can do, then we can power every moving thing that we ever wanted, and it would not destroy the earth. It would not be harmful to the earth. We would not need these huge power plants that are killing the end ozone layer. We would not need to dump all of that uh all of those liquids and toxins into the water, which we turn around and drink. The fish eat, and we turn around and eat the fish. Uh, it would not uh, be nuclear waste destroying the land, uh, and we try to bury it, and then eventually the metal uh, biodegrades, and when it does, that those toxins are released right back into, those toxins are released right back into the land, the land on which we live in, you know, Next thing you know, the plant food that we're eating, boom, it's sick. Now we're sick. Now we got cancers and all, all kind of levels that we can't fix. We can't fix these things. Why? Because we need power. And it's all cyclical. And it's making the earth, a living organism, sick, which is making us sick which is causing us to have more medicines in our system that are not good for us. If you ever listen to these medicine commercials, the medicine is making you sicker and is giving you more problems than what it's supposed to cure. It's all wrapped together. We're going the wrong way. We're not using the energy that Tesla actually uh, found out. And it's everywhere, and everyone can use it, and it's free. But you build a roadster that can go four point, uh, can do the quarter, go from one to 60 in 4.2 seconds. I'm happy for you, Elon. I'm elated. How about one that can go 3.1 seconds? Let's go faster. Come on, Elon. You build a roaster that's made for four people, two people in the front, and two very small people in the back. Oh, it can go over a thousand uh, uh, miles or whatever. Elon, why not 2,000 miles? Huh? At 595,000 miles an hour. Why not? No, oh, you're an underachiever. We're doing it wrong. Every time a tornado strikes, all I see is power that we could use. But some people are using the power of the wind. Yes, we've been using the power of the wind. Now we're using the power of the ocean. But I think there's an engine that could be built where a propeller turns. And when a propeller turns, it actually... See, in a tornado, when I see a tornado spinning, I'm like, why does it only spin as a circle? Why does that circle is so condensed? Because there's a wheel within a wheel, like in the book of Ezekiel. I saw a wheel within a wheel. He saw a spaceship, is what he saw. But nonetheless, there's a wheel within the wheel. There's energy turning the tornado 
in a in, in a circular motion, but there's also energy within the wall of the tornado. This is why you can be inside the eye of a tornado or and or a hurricane and not be harmed. Because the energy on the outside of the eye of, of the hurricane is not only spinning around, but it's also tumbling, which is making it go faster and sustaining it. Some of you are going to pick that up. It's not like I'm the smartest pencil in a box, but... Other people are going to chime in with some real scientific stuff that you don't really need to tell me. We need to tell these people who are making all of these decisions and putting these cars and stuff out there. You guys need to stop using all of the all the power. Stop using it. We need to find a way to decommission these huge power plants. The power that we need is already here. Some of you can't get around that because you've been living the same way. Well, that's fine. You can't get around it until somebody shows you how to. But it's not like a way isn't there. It really is. I'm just an old guy, you know. I'm just telling you guys that there's another way. But what do I know?